Hello everyone, welcome to the buying guide for the 1.5 meter E-Flight P51D Mustang, new for January 2020. And I gotta tell you, obviously this is based off of the World War II legendary fighter that's captured the hearts of so many for so long now. But I gotta tell you, the, the standout thing for this is the fact that it's extra scale and the size of this thing. For this being a foam constructed airplane, it has a very commanding stance, as you can see, uh, presence in the sky, and a very unique, almost different trim scheme than we're used to with P-51 Mustangs. Very nice touches from E-Flight. So with this being a low wing warbird, we don't necessarily recommend this for beginners. And that's because of the speed, the flying characteristics of fast, low wing warbirds, and the ground handling because of it being a tail dragger. That being said, this could definitely be a good first warbird if you do already have a lot of stick time or hours flying some of our other planes. Especially with the fact that this comes with AS3X and Safe Select in our Bind and Fly Basic model, all those things coupled together make this a potential candidate for a good first warbird. Very cool. Now the other really key advancement with the 1.5 meter Mustang here is the addition of Spectrum Spark technology. So this now has that Avian ESE motor combo with a telemetry receiver. What that does is it drives data to any Gen 2 DSMX protocol transmitter and gives you a lot of key telemetry data, obviously. So I always talk about telemetry. It's kind of like one of those things you think you don't need it and then you have it and get used to it. And then if you try to go back to not having it, you wonder how you ever live without it. So even something as simple as like battery voltage, knowing your battery voltage could save an airplane. We're all really good at charging our batteries, setting timers, but all it takes is one brief, you know, lack of grabbing the right battery off the charger, or maybe you had to charge one next to a dead one. You put it in the plane and go to take off. You might not know you just put a dead battery in your plane. Spectrum Smart Technology does. So in addition to that, you also get motor RPM. You can actually monitor the amperage this thing's pulling. A lot of cool tech that's available in addition to all the other features and benefits that the whole smart ecosystem provides. All already installed, really cool stuff. Now, if you do happen to get the PMP model, keep in mind that you do get the smart motor and ESC, you just don't get that smart receiver. So you do lose that telemetry aspect of it, but you can always upgrade in the future or drop in any smart capable receiver directly in and all that will start feeding directly to your transmitter. So jumping back to the, the plane design itself, I think we'll start front to back and kind of run through some of the scale features, design elements, really cool trick things that are in this particular model. So we have the nice classic four blade prop that the P51D is known for. We have the nice molded uh, exhaust outlets from that Merlin V12 that isn't in the foam model, but you got to capture that on an extra scale model. Have the nice gun emplacements. We have drop tanks that are removable. So if you choose, you can take those off and not even run them. The landing gear on this is like second to none for a foam model. You get a nice sprung undercarriage here, but the really standout feature, oh, the wheels are ball bearing as well, but the real nice standout feature is the doors. So this has sequence gear doors for the main gear and the retractable tail wheel. So all the gear is retractable on this and all the doors shut. It's a beautiful thing to watch and something that really you can't get anywhere else. Uh, moving on, one of the things that the video itself here might not capture is the fact that the whole airframe has molded panel lines. Uh, it's a really nice touch. It really helps separate this from some of the less scale models and Honestly, it's gonna make weathering this thing look even better and even easier. So if you're interested in doing that, this is a great platform to start with. Um, you also get LED lights in the wingtips, which is a nice touch on any plane for that matter. You get huge functional flaps that are gonna help slow this thing to a crawl to help, la help land this even a little bit easier. Um, the, the whole cockpit is kind of a, a hatch design, nice pilot, detailed gauges. Everything's really easy to get to. The battery inside here actually has like a, a pull out almost tray that you Velcro it on and then slide it in. Also, the CG on this is pretty forgiving. So you can run anything between a 3200 and a 7006S LiPo with EC5 or IC5, and then you just use that door to adjust the CG. 
seems pretty brilliant, honestly. Uh, moving on, I know we already talked about it, but the tail wheel is retractable and the doors shut. It's so cool. Um, anyway, um, another key thing to point out, you don't need glue to assemble this. So um, the wing design itself, if you watch some of our videos, is actually a little different. You know, normally you kind of pull each wing off of a plane and then you transport it that way. This kind of think of like where the flaps end is a section that stays on the plane most of the time. You could take it off, but we've designed this to where the tips, basically from the aileron out, pulls off. That way you can fit it in cars and there's less connections to have to fiddle with. It's all a nice hands-free, nice positive click in there. And we've thought about you guys years in the future, those clips are replaceable. So they just unscrew and you can put new ones on. That way, if you have 100, 500, 1,000 flights on this and those start getting loose, we're gonna have you backed, obviously. Now to cap things off, uh, if you plan on getting the bind and fly basic version of this plane, you will need to provide a 3200 to 7000 milliamp 6S LiPo battery with a EC5 or IC5 connector. You'll obviously need a way to charge that battery as well. And then you'll need to bind up your own DSMX protocol 6 plus channel transmitter. Now, if you plan on using safe select flaps and retracts, which you need to use retracts on this, um, you're going to need a seven channel realistically, unless you plan on kind of sharing or, or not using safe. So keep that in mind. Uh, if you plan on getting the plug and play, you'll need all that stuff I mentioned, but you have to put your own receiver in there, in which case you could kind of get away with a six channel because you don't have to worry about assigning safe select things to consider. So that is the E-Flight P51D Mustang 1.5 meter new for 2020. Um, if you have questions, comments, concerns, things we forgot about, or you want to rant about Mustangs, let us know in the comments below. But make sure you subscribe and like the video. That way you see buying guides whenever they come out here at Horizon Hobby. Other than that, we will let you guys go. Thanks for tuning in, and we will see you next time. Thanks.